Hey guys, it's Angelica, the Coupon Clipping Teacher, and today I'm actually bringing you a Walgreens haul. So it's just a small haul. Um, it did not go exactly as planned because originally I wanted to get three of the Crest mouthwashes and get that register reward and then roll the register reward. So if you're not familiar with the deal, um, the small 500, I think they're the 500 milliliter bottles are going to be $2.99 this week and we have a $1.50 coupon. So um, you're going to pay about $1.50, so times three, that's $4.50. I was going to get um, like some kind of filler to get up to $5 and use some points, um, but they didn't have those. So I only did one transaction, so I paid more out of pocket than I wanted to, but it still worked out in the end because I used one of my Zantac rebate cards. Um, so let me go ahead and show you what I did. Um, I also want to say that I wanted to spend at least $15 before coupons because I had a bonus coupon that printed for me on Sunday when I bought my newspaper, no, on Saturday when I bought my newspapers. Spend $15, get 5,000 bonus points. Um, so I want to make sure I hit that threshold. So the thing to remember with those threshold coupons like spend 15 get 5,000 points um, or whatever it is Walgreens coupons don't typically they don't count towards that total when I say Walgreens coupons I mean coupons like these in ad coupons and I mean coupons like um, in this Walgreens booklet okay it's, from my knowledge from what I remember because I don't do Walgreens too much they don't count towards that $15 so you have to take into account your Walgreens coupons and then hit your $15. And that is why I had to get my little pencil right there. So, um, what I did in this transaction was I picked up two of the Scott paper towels. They are on sale this week for $3.99 and they're the six count packages um, on coupons.com and they're still available today because um, I printed a second set today for my other computer. Um, coupons.com has a $1 off of one printable um, it does have a short expiration date of about two weeks, but um, go ahead and print that coupon. There's also a whole bunch of other paper product coupons that have a dollar off. Um, so when you use that coupon, you're going to pay $2.99. Now what I did was I also had an e-coupon that I clipped to my Walgreens card. So I used one e-coupon and one paper coupon. So those cost me $2.99 out the door, which is a pretty good price for paper towels. Um, and then on checkout 51, you're going to get a dollar back for one of them. Um, so one of your packages is going to be $1.99. So great deal on the paper towels. So um, the next thing I got were these Snickers. These are the Snickers Crisper um, candy bars. Um, like I told you, oh no, I don't think you saw my CBS video from last week. I don't think it ever uploaded. Um, no, so what I'm doing with the candy is I am stockpiling it for Halloween. So last week we had the Hershey's deal over at CVS where we were getting the bags for a dollar. Um, I have four of those bags, so today I picked up the crispers. So these are on sale two for six dollars and on coupons.com, and again I just printed it this morning, on coupons.com we have one dollar coupons on each one of those, so that's going to bring your cost down to um, two for four dollars. And then in the Walgreens booklet, we have this dollar off Mars candy coupon. So you're gonna pay two for three dollars or a dollar fifty a bag. And then on checkout 51, there's a dollar twenty-five back when you buy two bags. So it makes it to a dollar eighty-five. No, a dollar seventy-five for both bags. Is that right? I don't know. I didn't write it down. Um, but yeah, so really cheap Halloween candy. So like I said, I'm stocking up. Um, so this $1 coupon right here, I had to make sure I took that into account into my $15 total. And the next thing I got were two cans of the Lindsay Olives and I already opened one. These are my favorite olives. I prefer these above all other olives. They're so good. I think I probably just ate half of the can. Um, but these are on sale for 99 cents with the in-ad coupon. So I think the regular price at my store is like $1.29. Um, but then when they scan this coupon, it's going to bring it down to 99 cents. So 99 cents a can. No other coupons that I know of, but I also didn't look. 
and then um, I was just a few cents short from my $15 total. So I picked up this pencil. It has um, little lines on it. I think that it is so cute. I actually collect pencils. I don't know if, you, if that'll focus. There we go. For a second it did, but um, I collect pencils. So I have a huge pencil collection. Um, so I chose a pencil that I would want to put in my collection. Um, if I had to guess, I maybe have 300 pencils. I don't know. I have some pretty unique ones too. So um, I'm really proud of my pencil collection. <laughs> but that was um, on clearance for 20 cents. So after my Walgreens Snickers coupon and my Lindsay Olive coupon, that brought my total down to $16.16. But remember, I also had um, $4 in manufacturer coupons. Um, no, I take that back. It was $15.16 after my Walgreens coupons. I used $4 in manufacturer coupons. So that brought my total down to $11.16. So I had 65 cents in tax. I, so it came to eleven eighty one. I use $8.99, and that's from that Zantac rebate that we did at CVS about two months ago. And then I paid out of pocket $2.82 cash. Well, not really cash, but on my debit card. But I am going to get back $2.25 from Checkout 51. And now that I think of it, there might be an Ibotta rebate on the Lindsay Olives. I'm going to have to check because I remember seeing it, but I don't know if it's still there. So if it's there, I'll be getting a Lindsay Olive um, rebate. So I'm going to check what I've done with this video. I got back um, my opening balance. I did not use any points, but my opening balance was 17840 I earned 150 everyday points, and I did earn my bonus 5,000 points. So my closing balance is 22,990 points, which is $22 and like 99 cents. Um, also keep in mind that those bonus point coupons went spend 15, get 5,000 points, or you know spend 10, get 2,000 points, whatever coupon it is, have them scan that first. That is always the first coupon I have because I think the way that Walgreens registers are is if you don't scan it first, then it's going to be a little, um, it's not going to give it to you because then it's going to look at the coupons and say, oh, you didn't scan, you know, you didn't spend the $15. Um, so I said, I didn't take out any of my other coupons. I just said, please scan this one first. So he scanned it and then I gave him the rest of my coupons. And he was great. You know, he's a great cashier. Um, I don't mind going to that office. I never have a problem. Um, so yeah, so that's my small little Walgreens haul. Um, those Snickers are going to go into hiding, but I might open them because I really want to try them. I don't think I want to wait to Halloween. Um, but yeah, so that's my haul. Um, I did go to Target yesterday. My car is packed full of Scott toilet paper and Snuggle fabric softener and um, Swiffer products, the Glade air fresheners, the um, Car Sense. So many good deals at Target. I hope you guys got out yesterday to see the deals and to take advantage of them. Um, all the deals are still valid, so if you want me to do a video on what I got at Target, because I did take advantage of quite a few deals, um, if you want me to do a video on that, leave me a comment below. I'm more than happy to do it. The deals, like I said, they're still valid. However, yesterday we had a bonus 10% coupon um, that worked in our favor. So there are some other things I wanted to buy, but either they were out of them or I didn't find out about them until late and I would already been to Target four times, so I wasn't going back. So, yeah. Um, like I said, if you want to see the video, comment down below. But that's all I have for you guys. So have a great night. Don't forget to subscribe and like my video and leave me a little love note down below. And I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.